The temperatures being reported out of Portland, Oregon are mind-boggling. This is not just hot, it is dangerous. This will break record temperatures for all time. As the planet warms, we're going to be looking for more ways to beat the heat. Many people had to rush to cooling stations when they lost power. Air conditioning accounts for 10% of all global electricity consumption. And the demand for this type of cooling is expected to triple by 2050, which could strain already overworked electric grids. As it gets hotter, air conditioners, refrigeration systems need more energy to run. The more electricity we use for cooling, the more challenging it is to operate and to provide electricity reliably. That's why it's the company SkyCool's mission to make existing cooling systems run more efficiently by taking advantage of a phenomenon that exists in nature. All objects give off heat in the form of invisible infrared radiation. As heat leaves an object, it becomes cooler, a process known as radiative cooling. But some objects can actually become colder than the air surrounding it. It's part of the reason frost forms on grass even if the air temperature is above freezing. But this only happens at night. Once the sun rises, the grass eventually warms back up. So, SkyCool designed a new material with radiative cooling properties that work 24 hours a day. Radiative cooling, in the sense that we're doing it, has really never been out there before. The effect was never observed during the day, and by enabling it with these films that we've developed, you can now use this type of cooling even when it's under direct sunlight. Developed using modern nanotechnology, the film has hundreds of tiny optical layers designed to emit a specific wavelength of radiation that maximizes cooling. But it's also highly reflective, absorbing little energy so it stays cool even under the sun. That combination of properties has never been found in nature. They're incredibly reflective, like I'm, they're almost blinding, but are they, are they actually physically cool to the yeah, touch? Yeah, exactly. So you can can, I, can of I touch course, them yeah. or are I going to blind and burn myself at the same time? Yeah, and so oh, you can wow, compare yeah. it to any other surface on the roof, it'll be much cooler. Yeah, they're much cooler than what I would expect. I mean, it's hot. It's a hot day, and that's yep. cool to the touch. Yeah. This is an infrared image of the panels on our roof. You can see there's just a, a really stark contrast in, in temperature between the surfaces that are these radiative cooling films and then the roof of the, the building. And what is that temperature difference? It's going to be on the order of 40 Fahrenheit, it looks like. And because the panels don't need any electricity to get cold, SkyCool says they can help a building's cooling system operate with less power. Here's how. First, the panels cool down water running through pipes embedded behind them. Then, that cold water flows into a refrigeration or air conditioning system to help chill refrigerant liquid. That takes some of the workload off the condenser. The less the condenser runs, the more money is saved in an energy bill. Anything that we can do to take some of the load off of the power grids, I'm all for it. In 2019, SkyCool installed its panels at this grocery store in Stockton, California, where it's hot and dry most of the year. The store says it saw a notable difference. After we had our SkyCool system installed, our electricity company increased their rates on us. We actually didn't see our bill go up at all. In fact, we saw it go just a little bit down. We've saved on average about 3,000 a month. SkyCool has since installed panels at a retail store in Southern California and a data center in Sacramento, helping to cool computer servers. Eventually, SkyCool hopes to bring its energy-saving panels to other commercial buildings and someday to the roofs of homes. In the future, you could imagine using this on the roofs of uninsulated buildings in Asia or Africa and India, where it's expected to be you know, billions of new air conditioners coming online in the next 30 years. And I think we're just excited to, to be able to, to use this new technology for good.